This morning, Aviation and Defense Universe is interviewing William Blair, the Vice President and Chief Executive of Lockheed Martin India. Sir, yes. what is the Lockheed Martin future as far as program in India is concerned in the backdrop of making India policy of the government of India? Well, first off, thank you for taking the time to, to meet with me and, and to, uh, in your interest uh, to engage. Uh, to talk about the future, I think we have to talk about the foundation that's built on uh, over 30 years of Lockheed Martin being here in India. Um, we've actually, uh, in particular over the last 10 years, uh, we've established a joint venture, uh, two joint ventures with Tata, one Lockheed Martin Aerostructures Limited, with what we know as uh, a Tata Lockheed Martin Structure, Aerostructures Limited, T-Lamal, T-L-M-A-L, and then also Tata Sikorsky. Uh, and so both joint ventures were, um, were born, if you will, uh, 10 years ago, so we'll be celebrating our 10-year anniversary. But what's important about that is that's created a foundation of making India. And, and we like to say we're making in India because through these two joint ventures, uh, the Tata Lockheed Martin Aerostructures are building the empennages for the C-130Js to the global requirement, uh, in addition, of course, to the C-130Js that have been delivered and operating with the Indian Air Force. On the Sikorsky side, uh, also 10 years old, uh, they've been producing the state-of-the-art uh, helicopter components um, and also extended to now making aircraft engine components too. So, uh, and, and by doing so, they've been engaging uh, all tiers of suppliers in India. So you have the, the joint ventures, but they're creating an ecosystem in India uh, from the you know, MSMEs down even to the startups that are feeding into this, this uh, uh, requirement uh, on both aerostructures and helicopter comp components and aerostructures for helicopters. Um, we're happy to say that even though it started out as assembling imported components, now they're up to, um, on the uh, Sikorsky uh, side of the business for S-92 helicopters, um, they've been, uh, they, they've now, out of over 2,800 unique parts, 2,600 are made in the JV in-house in Hyderabad. Um, and so, uh, on, on the other side, uh, on the um, C-130, We've transitioned approximately uh, 2,000 parts uh, into that uh, joint venture so that we're both producing and assembling from within the JVs. And so, uh, so why is that important? Because Make in India is so important going forward. Um, that foundation allows us to very credibly make an offer both for the strategic partner programs on the fighter and the helicopter requirements that are just now coming up. But well, we can do that with a confidence on the level of quality, reliability, and support that we've been able to achieve uh, through these JVs in Hyderabad. Now, with that, now well, where's the future? Well, the future we think is uh, a future we've been all uh, aspiring to, I would say, for over a decade now as well, and that is the fighter requirement. And so on offer, we have the F-21, uh, and we can talk more about the F-21, but a very advanced aircraft, uh, with, with very specific capabilities uh, purposefully built to target to the Indian Air Force requirements. On the helicopter side, there's the Naval Utility Helicopter coming up potentially under the Strategic Partner Program designation as well. And, and again, uh, that can leverage both our expertise and foundation and, and product capability uh, from the U.S., but, but do that through uh, and partnering through the joint ventures we've established for now over a decade. Well, it's nice to hear that your future program matches well with the Make in India policy of the Government of India. Thank you, sir.